Hello and welcome to Edupedia World. Now let's take a look at how we can use masks to cut out video. Before we took a look at how you can uh, mask images, but now let's take a look at how we can mask moving images. So uh, to uh, make a quick example in my living room and shot two small clips. So uh, this is just, I'll just show you. Go. It's a uh, video clip where I just drop a ball and notice that the ball lands on this side of the image. And then I've got another clip where I've got the same ball, so I only had one ball, and then I drop this ball on the other side, so on this side. And then what we want to do is merge these two uh, clips on top of each other so that it looks like there are two balls in the video even though I only have one ball. That sounded wrong but one rubber ball. So let's just take these two video clips and drag them onto the new composition button and it will ask me if I want a single or multiple compositions and I want multiple. Boom. There we go. So uh, here we can see the two video clips uh, being shown together and the reason we only see one is because well this video clip fills up everything so uh, yeah that explains why let's just take a look at the other clip first turn off the sound hide the top clip and uh, take a look at the other clip right here so you can see when I turn the first one on and the second one on there's a bit of a change in the uh, color balance and also the camera has been moved just a tiny 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 bit I'm sure it doesn't matter but we will see I made sure to keep the camera as still as I possibly could, but I only had it sitting on the floor, so I didn't have any, have any tripod or anything. That would probably have made it better. And also you can see the white balance changes. This one is more yellow, and this is more blue, so I could have set it to manual white balance instead. Um, so how do we do this? Well it can actually be done very easily so we can see the ball um, moves on the right side of the frame and it only moves this far over this is the furthest that the ball goes so on the top layer here we can actually just create one symbol mask where we just take like the rectangle tool and uh, highlight the mask sorry the top layer and just draw a mask just until around here press V and deselect and now we can see that we actually have the same ball dropping twice um, but you can of course see you can see the seam here in the middle and that's what I talked about with the white balance being a bit off um yeah another thing is on this clip over here if we just jump forward through the frames you can see the shadow is getting cut off so we're gonna have to change that and uh, it can actually be done um, pretty simply so let's first address the problem with the white white balance and uh if you have followed some of the first lessons, then you will actually know how this is done. We're just going to use the curves, uh, color correction, adjustment, and then I will just go into the red channel, and then for the right clip, let me just turn it up a slight bit, and then also remove a little bit of blue just experiment with different uh, color settings I think this looks 
pretty fine as you can see here's the difference it was pretty blue now it's more yellow uh, greenish yeah. so um, this is as good as it gets and it's actually pretty close so um, as you can see now the seam is almost gone here on the wall but there's still a seam down here and we can actually very easily make this seam a much much less noticeable um, I'll just quickly move this up just a bit and uh, this down like this um, there are some settings for this mask that we can change so there's the mask path mask feather mask opacity and mask expansion so the mask expansion that basically uh, indulgence or shrinks the mask um, so it's it's a way to adjust it um, yeah so that should this should show it pretty well As you can see the mask gets larger and smaller then there's the opacity as you can see that just that's like uh, changing the opacity on the layer as well you can see if I do this works the same way basically just opacity and uh, then there's the mask feather and that's the one I want to change here that like the mask feather if we hide the bottom layer that will fade out the edges like this and that really helps to uh, blend two masks together as you can see right now it's really faded I've got like 650 uh, pixels that are being faded but um, let's just show the bottom layer again and then crank up the feather amount just a bit maybe let's say 15 and uh, now if you look down here I am not able to tell where the seam is only because I know it's there I can see it a little bit down here but on the wall I have actually no idea where it is um, but there's still the problem with the uh, the shadow getting cut off so if we watch the video through here you can see the shadow is getting cut off and that ruins the effect so um, yeah and then also here in the end the sun kicks in over here so that it gets very yellow so to address that issue I'll just cut it off right here um, so press N trim come to work area but um, we still have the problem with the shadow getting cut off so um, that's the part I want to address now so uh, how can we do this well if we uh, go onto this layer and then uh, actually just hide it then we can see where the shadow is we are still on this layer with the ball on the right but we can't see it because we have hidden it and that means we can now see uh, the shadow here beneath so you can see the shadow starts over here and then it it goes here and jumps over here jumps up a bit disappears comes back and then the shadow is around here and then it goes off frame so that means we want to um, so th the bit of shadow that comes over here that doesn't matter we can uh, avoid uh, using that but the shadow here is very ne necessary so let's just create a mask that goes around here Bam! there we go this is a very rough mask and uh, well that's because it doesn't have to be very precise if we turn on the layer we can see we haven't cut into the ball just yet then if we go one frame further 
and take a look at this. We can see we have cut into the ball. Um, so we could do this and uh, change the mask to fit the ball and um, that would uh, make it a lot easier. But another thing we could do what was w would be to just create a quick animation. So uh, go into the mask number two and then on the mask path click on the stopwatch. So now we can actually animate it. So we can say on this frame we want the shape to look sorry to look like this where it has the whole shadow and then on the next frame we want it oh, I accidentally moved the mask on the next frame we want it to look like this so you can see if I uh, show this layer you can see how the mask is moving to uh, yeah, help with the ball and uh, then let's look at the next frame the shadow from this ball is now somewhere over here so it doesn't really matter and the ball hits again doesn't show let's take a look at this ball's shadow so we just want to now um, animate this mask to move out of the way of the ball that's coming from over here and uh, just kind of shape this to fit so now it's moving into this position and the shape is now going off frame so I'll just move some of all of some of this over here to the side and uh, let's actually take the whole shape and move it oh, sorry take the whole shape and move it off frame maybe move this further back and uh, what we have done now is created a mask on this layer to the right um, that will uh, show this guy's shadow um, but as we can see it doesn't it actually cuts adds this video on top and um, that's because we have set it to add if we set this to subtract instead then we will see this shadow from over here so uh, as you can see now when it falls down we have got a bit of a problem as you can see here the first ball falls right onto this mask so we actually don't want the mask to be there until this frame because um, well there's no shadow so we can just uh, keyframe this opacity so on this frame we will set it to zero and uh, that should actually solve this problem now the shadow is on this side next frame looks a bit odd we can change that so uh, as we saw with the coca-cola can we can go in and refine this to fit all the way up to the ball all the way up to the ball and uh, now this looks a little bit better we're gonna mess up that part but um, now it fits all right you can see there's a bit of a uh, bit of a hard edge and we can fix that by adding few pixels of feather not go too overboard but now you can see there it's a bit of a nice edge here you, you can't see where it, it uh, goes together you can see actually the shape moves out of the, out of the way 
way too slowly. But this just proves the point where you can use a uh, mask to, uh, yeah, you can see you can see where they go together here and uh, that also has to do with this video getting yellow because of the white balance that changes um, we can maybe try and fix that by animating the curves so at this frame we want the, the image to look like this and then here in the end we actually want to change these we want to remove We want to remove some of the yellow. It's they are a bit more light alike. Um, maybe I made it a bit too dull. This is very um, time consuming, but now I think I got it quite all right. You can see maybe if I tighten this up just a bit let's just add a bit more feather let's say maybe 10 pixels and uh, take a look at the finished uh, video so as you can see now it actually looks quite all right we've got the ball that falls and then yeah the shadow drags a bit and um, we could have went in here and used the technique called rotoscoping where for each frame and I'll actually show this in the next clip for each frame we go in and make sure that uh, this uh, mask fits the ball perfectly for each frame then we go to the next frame and then just make it fit like this So as you guys can see, I've now gone in and refined the mask um, where I, for each frame, as you can see down here with the keyframes, I went in and made the mask fit around the ball. So if I highlight uh, this, you can see the mask that follows the ball. And this just makes for a much nicer animation because um, this kind of stuff has to fit very nice in order for it to look believable. So. I think this is quite alright. You could spend more time, I only spent like 10 minutes making this. Um, so yeah, this is how you can, uh, one version of how you can uh, mask video. Thank you for watching Edupedia World, stay tuned for more videos.